Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we'll show you how to create an app using Appy Pie's new editor. Go to Appy Pie App Builder to create your app. Enter your business name. This will be the name of your app that can be changed later on. Now choose the category that best fits your business needs. Now select the device on which you will be testing the app that you are about to create. Now click on save and continue to proceed further. To finish creating your app, you need to sign up or log in with Appy Pie. Once logged in, you will get to see the preview of your app. Once again, click on save and continue. You'll be redirected to the pricing page where you can buy the plan that fits your needs. Once the payment is done, you'll be redirected to the pages section under App Manager. In other words, it is the editor where you can make changes to the app. This is the home page of your app. You can double click on the page in order to change the page name. As you can see, everything is in block form. You can do inline editing and make changes as per your requirements. Let's first start making changes to the entire, entire page section. Click on the feature section that you want to make changes. You will see four options edit section, move up and down, copy and remove. Click on the edit section to make the changes to the entire page section. A blocks, elements and style pop-up will appear on the bottom right hand side. From the block section, you can enable or disable blocks like the summary. From the element section, you can enable or disable the internal elements like banner image, heading, primary and secondary button, from the style section, you can change the font style, font size, background color, text color, and font alignment. You can even enable or disable divider visibility, which divides one section of the page with the other. Once enabled, you can customize divider size, divider color, as well as divider type. You can even add spacing from the padding option and also change the grid size. If you want to move the page section up or down, you can click on the up down arrow and move it accordingly. You can also create an exact copy of the entire page section by clicking on copy option. If you want to delete the page section, click on remove. Now let's make changes to each block individually. Let's go with the heading. Click the heading block. You will see the edit option as well as AI option. If you want to manually make the changes, click on edit. You can now directly change the heading text as per your needs. On clicking the edit option, a style pop-up will appear on the bottom right hand side. From here you can make changes to the style of heading. Like you can make it bold, italic, underline, strike through, or insert and remove the link. You can also change the font style, font size, text color, background color, overlay color and font alignment of the heading. If you want to add spacing between heading text and the border, you can use the padding option. Once you are done, click anywhere on the screen to see the changes. If you want assistance with AI, click on the AI text creator icon. An AI text creator overlay pop-up will appear. Describe the type of heading you want in a sentence or two and click on Create text to rephrase it using AI. Just like you made changes to the heading of the page, in the similar way you can change the subheading text both manually via edit option or use AI assistance by choosing AI text creator option. If you want to make the changes to the CTA button, click on it. Now you can change the text of your CTA. On clicking the CTA button, a content and style pop-up will appear on the bottom right hand side. From here you can change the CTA button style, CTA text and make it more visible and clickable. Once you are done, click anywhere on the screen to see the changes. Now let's customize the image. Click on it. A content pop-up will appear on the bottom right hand side. From here you can change the image as per your needs. Click on the image. You can select an image from the library or upload your own custom image. From here you can even change the size border style, spacing, and background color of the image. You can also add a link to your image and allow it to open in a new window. 
Just like heading and subheading, you can change the entire content of your page the way you want. In the same way, you can make changes to other sections of your pages and create it accordingly as per your needs. If you want to add a new section between the existing two sections or at the end, click Add Section and all sections pop-up will open. Select your desired section design from the available library and click on it to add it. Now let's make changes to the settings of the home page. Click Open the menu and select Settings. You'll be redirected to the home page settings. Here you will see three options, General, In-App Purchase Settings, and Change Layout. Click Open the General section. From here you can change the page icon, page title, hide feature, and enable login. You can also copy the future URL and view future history from here. From the in-app settings section, you can enable in-app purchase. You need to provide Android payment credentials, iOS payment credentials, Android payment receipt credential, and in-app purchase subscription details to enable in-app purchase. From the change layout section, you can change the layout of your app, of your page. There are multiple layouts available, which you can select as per your requirements. Once you are done, click on save to save all the changes. Please note, all the changes are, are automatically saved, but you need to click on save to ensure the changes are saved properly. Once everything is set, you can test the app on your preferred device, and you are, if you are satisfied, you can go ahead and publish the app. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.